Well, I'm out at a old permission today. I uh, was in town doing some uh, curb stripping and uh, you just can't film anything in town, uh, the traffic, the noise, but uh, I'm back out here at an old permission and I just got my first signal and uh, turn this off so you guys can hear it. Um, if I can find it again. There it is right there. It's got a little squeak to it. Let's see what happens. I had something in here a minute ago. There it is. Hitting 77. We found some buttons and stuff out here, so I'm gonna put you guys right here. Let's see if we can get that in there. Let's see where it's at here. Came out of the hole. Turn you guys right over here. Pinpointer out. What is this? Oh, no. What is that? You gonna see that? I don't know for sure. I had to guess. I don't know if that's a watch winder. Um, my first thought was some kind of a seal, but it's either that or it's the dinger out of an alarm clock. Oh, I just dropped it. Get up here a little bit better. Hmm. Yeah. Looked almost like a watch winder key. But I'm wondering if it's the, or if it's a dinger out of an alarm clock, the hammer. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> guess not, I just broke it, dummy. Anyway, there it is. See what else we can find. All right, so I just got another good signal. Um, it's fairly deep. I mean, it's, uh, I don't know. What is that? Eight inches, nine inches deep. So uh, this whole field's been plowed before. I mean, it's a cotton field, corn on the other side. So anyways, it's out of the hole. And um, let's go over and see what we can find. Put you back somewhere. Sun is. You see it in here somewhere. All right. Oh, there's something right in there. Let's see. Uh oh. Look. Look, 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 look. What is that? What is that? Oh, please be a ring. Please be a ring. Oh my gosh. Would you look at that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that. Go. Oh. It's just gold plated, but oh my word. Let me just get some water. Let me get you over here where we can where I can work here. Look at that. Is that not the coolest thing? Okay, let's put some, uh, I don't know if there's any stones in there or not. The landowner doesn't remember the houses being up here, but uh, he knew that there was a lot of glass and a lot of shards and different things up here and there's no stone in it look at that the stone's missing man oh man would you look at that it's just gold plated i think appears to be 
Um, still, nonetheless, I mean, to find a ring from the 1930s, 1940s, or even earlier, boy, that thing has seen its better days. Wow. Would you look at that? How the plow didn't hit that thing, I have no idea. Because this whole ground's been plowed up, and it may have hit it right there. That may be why it's bent and could have knocked the stone out of it. Um, but still, I mean, golly. That is cool. I'm going to be real careful. You know, I've got butterfingers. You saw me break that watchwinder key or whatever it was. So, holy mackerel. Look at that. That's my third gold ring ever. We found uh, World War II stuff out here. We found stuff that dated back into the 1800s in this field. But uh, isn't that neat? I'm going to show that to the landowner. Heck, that could have been his grandma's ring or something. Who knows? All right, enough gawking at that. We'll... Uh, We'll keep on digging. That's awesome. All right, so um, I just was sitting here thinking about it. I'm listening to all these signals through my headphones. And, uh, hmm, that gum bugs. I mean, it's December and there's bugs out. So um, I thought I'd give you guys just a quick see what I'm doing here. So if I put the camera down here, if you can see that, I'm in uh, zero mode. And I got maximum sensitivity because the dirt is really sandy. It's really deep. And uh, that's my battery level. So, you know, I got three bars left. So I'm good on batteries. And uh, no discrimination. So I want to hear all the iron, okay? I want to hear every signal I can. And evidently there was an old house site here because I'm going to let you hear some of, the, some of the signals out here. There's some squeakers through here. Um, see what we got here I heard one over here a minute ago if I can find it again mm. a lot of iron thought I heard one over here a minute ago a lot of squeaks going on Man, I'm still stoked. I can't believe I found that ring. Um, I brought Bo out here, Aqua Chigger, and uh, he, uh, there we go. Look at this. You see that? 80, 82. All right, it's worth a dig anyways, isn't it? Let's see if we can dig this up together. Mm, yeah, about four to six inches deep. So I'm gonna put you guys right here. See if we can go in here and find this, okay? Don't go anywhere. Might be something good. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. That's still down in the hole. Oh, I missed it, it's right there. It's a good thing about a plowed field. Uh, you just don't ever know. Oh, there it is right there. I don't know what that is. Pick you up. Yo, hold on. Hold on tight. Just came out of the hole. You see that? Ah, it's a rivet. That's what it looks like. It's got writing on it, but it's so toasty you can't read it. If there's any it's pretty toasty it, it had something stamped on there right there maybe wow i don't know i have to clean that up. it looks like a rivet maybe off a horse tack or or something of that nature so let's check the hole real quick boy it was giving a good signal too yeah nothing there so 
Yep, we got it. So, all right, well, there it is. We'll, uh, we'll put that in the finds box and we'll get back to digging. So, got plenty of time. Don't go anywhere. Tell you what, it's kind of windy. Um, if the wind noise is too much, I apologize, but um, you know, a lot of you guys have been saying you wanted to ride along with me when I'm finding signal. You wanted to be there when I found a squeaker. So let's just walk together, see if we can find something. And uh, maybe, maybe we can find something. You know, the cotton's all been picked out here. And uh, this is probably where there was a module at where they were, uh, maybe dumping it so that's not you know uh Bo found a lock right over here when he was with me and we just really haven't had a chance to come back to, to do anything hair comb hair straightener and i bet he walked right over that gold ring <laughs> go figure that you know, something I want to tell you guys too. People always, is the sun in your eyes? I bet it is. Let me turn you around. All right, how's that? Can you see me better? Um, <clears throat> you know, people people will tell you, oh, that place is hunted out. It's hunted out. Da, 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 da. I firmly believe that a place, I don't think a place is ever hunted out. I just think that because the ground is forever moving, the earth is forever shifting and there's things that have fallen way deep because traffic uh, a prime example is if you've got a pond that's leaking you know it won't hold water you can turn cattle out in there you can turn goats anything heavy that walks through there and packs it down it's gonna 90 percent of the time will stop that stock tank from leaking and it'll start holding water um so i think with being in fields like this where there was a house, number one, the plow comes through and discs and harrows and just turns this dirt all the time. And then you've got it scattered all the way through these fields. I mean, it could be, there could be a gold ring down on the other end that the plow picked up here and drug down there. Um, so you just never know in a field like this, but like house sites, people say, oh, it's hunted out, it's hunted out. I think because there's layers of history that for so many people that have lived there over the years that don't ever take no for an answer or don't ever take you know it's hunted out for an answer go in there set your sensitivity out i mean you might have a nice rain come through that maybe just moistens that ground enough that it'll go deeper than the last guy that was there um so a prime example is uh, Bo and I went all through this field for about two hours, just up and down each row and, um, you know, pulled a gold ring and his footprint's probably still over there. Uh, so, you know, this is that same field. I found that, that shotgun barrel. Well, we say it's a shotgun barrel, piece of pipe with a shotgun shell in it. And, um, so you guys have seen this field before. You just haven't seen it when it was all plowed up and, uh, or harvested rather. But, but don't ever think that a place is hunted out. I don't know how many homes were here, but there was definitely houses here. And um, I should have come out here this morning to hunt. I was actually gonna go deer hunting this morning. And uh, while we're on that subject, let me show you something real quick. Oh, let me lay that detector down. I've showed you guys this kind of stuff before. But there, you know, when your head itches, you want to scratch it. Well, the same way with a deer, and this is fresh. This is this is maybe yesterday. Because if you if you take and scrape the bark here, and uh, I know some of you probably don't care about hunting, but you can actually take and scrape this bark. You see how green that is versus this one? You can tell how dry it is. So, of course, the wind's blowing. It's coming out of the southeast right now, I believe. And uh, so you can compare how green that is to how green this is. And 
that deer has been through there between yesterday and today. You can see where his tines were hitting. And uh, he looks to be like a pretty nice little buck. Um, he's got him another trail just right there. And, uh, you know, I mean, they're just, their head goes to itching, their horns itch, they want to <laughs> want to scratch the itch. So he probably maneuvered back through there. Uh, there's corn, there's all kind of browse, you know. Um, deer don't graze, they browse. Um, so they're kind of like goats. They just nibble on stuff wherever they're at. And uh, they'll take a long nap and they get hungry and they want to come back and eat, so. Just a little trivia for you today. So, anyway. The other thing about being in a cotton field, the stalks. Those stalks are, you come up there and hit your metal detector against, you kinda gotta be careful. Um, I've actually seen people break, you know, shafts and things like that. Just, whoop, that was a good one. Well, sometimes those, sometimes you'll hear that squeak and it could be the, could be a piece of iron that's bleeding off, you know, into the, leaching into the ground. Uh, other times it could be masked. Uh, there could be a, a good signal down there that is masked. Um, so, you know, I spend a lot of time going, you know, I just go slow. I'm using a, a five, five inch five by eight coal on here which i'm glad i put it on here i was going to put my eight and a half by 11 but i decided since i was in town earlier and uh, doing some curb strips found a bunch of clad you know some change and stuff i'll show it to you guys later it's all modern um enough to buy a soda <laughs> if i drank sodas I'd buy one. Um, isn't that a shame water costs more than soda? <laughs> Crazy. Who'd have ever thought people would be paying exuberant amounts of money for bottled water? I should have jumped on that bandwagon. But uh, anyway. So you can just, I want to hear all the signals. And don't get discouraged. When you're in a place like this, you hear all those signals, you just, you kind of got to go, you know, you got to take the good with the bad. And, uh, it's a rock. I found some cool arrowheads out here. Uh, come spring when they, when they turn this over, it's going to be wonderful. Um. That one's deep, whatever it is. Let me. Another trick you can you can use. You can just take and, and swipe the ground with your with your boot or your foot, whatever, and uh, just kind of flatten it out. Sometimes those signals will fall down into a tractor rut or a deep valley, if you will. That one's deep. I'm trying to. It's not a real repeatable signal. Kind of jumping around. There's some flanking going on there. I think it's iron, but I think that might be iron. My shovel's over here. And I'm moving around. I'm covering a lot more territory than I should be. But I'm kind of pushing it so maybe you guys, you know, we can find some more stuff. It's pretty cool. The landowner's watching the football game. He's like, hey, come on up. So. Uh, yeah, I found that ring and I'm like, no, I'm not ready to come up yet. Because he wants to smoke cigars and hang out. <laughs> I want to, I want to metal detect. Oop, where's it at? Yeah. I think that's a shotgun shell. That's what I think. Oh, I can't find it now. It's probably iron. It's judging by the 
you heard that really good squeak in there and then it kind of disappeared and it's now it's grunting that's, that's probably a nail or something that was leaching out i'll put you right here let's see if we can I found a piece of buckshot a while ago and a square nail, so that's crazy. That's not it. Man alive. Well, I just missed it all the way around, didn't I? Now well, let's see what we got here. Turn the whole thing over. Wow. Shouldn't have dumped it there, should I? Yep. There she blows. Oh, that's an old rose head. That's oldie. That's an old one. Um, nah, it's not a rose head. I don't, maybe not. Maybe a flooring nail, but it's it's an old square nail that's it's old enough that there's not much left of it, but you can see the head of it. See what's left of the body of it. Um, sometimes you kind of wonder it might be an old uh, mule, you know, from a mule shoe or draft horse or something like that, but I believe that may have been off of a house just because it's so thick. You wouldn't want to drive that into the horse's hoof. You'd hurt him. So it had a really high squeak. Now, now it's got a grunt. So we'll go back and check the hole. Let's see what we got. Yep, that's it. That's what it was. Oh, that wind is coming up pretty hard. Is that too much wind on you guys? Tell you what, I'm going to give you a break. Let me cover this hole up. Go find a couple good signals and we'll come back and we'll dig them together. What do you say? Hmm? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll be back. I had to kind of cut it short. I was going to go deer hunting. And, uh, anyways, wife called, needed some at home. So, left deer camp, left the hunting field uh, where I was metal detecting it. And I had to come home and get some stuff for her to go somewhere tonight. So, anyways, I thought I'd do a quick wrap-up and uh, kind of show you what I found. So, as we go over here, obviously, we got tons of trash. This is all sidewalk curb stuff. Um, just tons of trash. I had some glass that I had picked up, and I've already thrown it away. But um, there's a bunch of clad from there, uh, from the sidewalks. So, I don't know, there's probably a buck or two, buck and a half um, worth of clad. And um, anyway, that. And then out at the uh, farm site, I picked that up. I wanted to show you guys. That's uh, glazed pottery. That is uh, crockware. Um, I don't know that it's kiln dried, but uh, it's definitely been glazed. And there's some old depression glass. That's 1920s, 1930s depression glass. And uh, found this. I thought maybe it was a silver bar at first. <laughs> I'm not sure. It's lead of some sort, maybe. Not sure. And then a bunch of copper pieces. Um, not sure what that was to. That could have been just about anything. But some snaps, a piece of buckshot, and uh, a rivet a washer rivet side of the washer something like that 
And I think that's actually the hammer for an alarm clock. And I broke the stem off of it, but it was rusted because uh, I thought it was a watch winder key at first, but it's um, pretty heavy. So I'm thinking that's probably off of an old, old wind up alarm clock. And uh, there's a snap off of a jacket or a tarp. But then best find of the day, there's a gold ring. I didn't, didn't do any more cleaning on it yet. I was going to take it up to my man cave and work on it a little bit see if there's a name or anything inside of it but that's pretty doggone old um at least 1940s um at the bare minimum uh given the stuff that i found around the old home site so anyways i was excited to find it it's uh only the third gold ring i've ever found metal detecting which i think is pretty pretty awesome so anyway guys so uh there you go um, I had to cut my trip short, unfortunately, but I'm going to go back tomorrow. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, I know it's kind of anticlimactic, but you know, I found a gold ring. <laughs> Better than a poke in the eye with a sharp stick. So uh, anyway, thank you all for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, maybe we'll get some more video tomorrow, and uh, <clears throat> we'll see what happens. There's There's got to be some more good stuff out there, and I'm excited to go because um golly you know every every time i've been out there i've found stuff so anyway guys thank y'all so much for watching hope you enjoyed it we'll see you on the next one